Let's talk the biggest ransomware attack possibly ever, uh, turning now uh, to that very big story, shaking the business world. Our evil, the Russian group behind the biggest global ransomware attack that we've ever seen now appearing to be demanding $70 million in ransom from affected companies. It is coming after those hackers took down software management company Casilla with ransomware spreading across hundreds, if not thousands of their customers through a disguised software update. President Biden directing U.S. intelligence agencies to investigate, but the company CEO says they've got it taken care of. We've addressed the issues. We're actually 100 percent confident that we know how it happened and we've remediated it. All right. Let's talk to Shannon Pettypiece about this, who's uh, from the White House for us this morning. Shannon, great to see you once again. Right. They're pretty confident because he's saying we, we got this thing in the bag. Obviously, though, the president uh, wanting the intel agencies involved to essentially figure out exactly the source of this attack, who okayed it, really, who gave the green light. Uh, right. These attackers, they are the same hackers uh, that brought down JBS. And it hasn't even been a month, as we well know, since Biden met with Russian President Vladimir Putin. What is he going to do about this? Well, and this is the type of thing that President Biden said he told Putin to cut out. Now, the president, though, stopping short, at least Saturday, of attributing blame on this to Russia, saying, as you mentioned, he has asked his intelligence community to do a deep dive into figuring out the source, who is behind this attack. Uh, But if it is Russia, and the president did say there are some early signs that might not be the Russian government. But if it is, he said that uh, if it is either with the knowledge of and or the consequence of Russia, then I told Putin we will respond, referring to that Geneva summit where he said there are essentially 16 parts of essential infrastructure in this country that are off limits. And if Russia or Russian-based actors continue to attack those, the U.S. will respond in kind, Yasmin. So so just quickly, um, Shannon, respond. What does that look like, possibly, from from what we know of what the president has said uh, in the past? And anything in place to put protections uh, to make sure this does not keep happening? Right. Well, when he says respond, he means respond in kind. So respond in, quote, what he said, a cyber way. So, you know, obviously the U.S., and this is something that Biden raised in that Putin meeting, has significant cyber capabilities as well. Um, And so we have the ability to uh, play at this game as well, is what the president indicated to Putin. You know, the U.S. is asking for companies to come forward if they have been attacked, because in the past they had said part of the problem is they just don't know about some of these attacks. Companies deal with them in private. Mm -hmm. So one thing they are doing is asking companies to come forward, uh, offering assistance to companies so that they can help companies put some of these protections in place, like you were saying. Uh, So not only trying to deter Russia, but trying to help companies beef up the security on their own end. All right, Shannon, good to see you. Thank you. 